Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and this is another episode of the world famous, the University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves. And we are coming to you live today. Today is March the 5th, 2024. It is Tuesday. Ladies and gentlemen, come on in, come on in, come on in. And before we get started, everybody, I would like to say, if you haven't subscribed to the show, what are you waiting on? Go wherever you get podcasts, subscribe so you can get the downloads on a regular basis. And if you haven't already, ladies and gentlemen, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about the greatest show podcast in the galaxy. Okay. And you can always email us, Tony at TonyRizzano.com. And before we get started on today's program, I have a question for you. Now, me and my wife, my wife, she wants to drive around the United States of America in an RV. An RV is a recreational, a recreational vehicle. And my wife wants to drive around in it. But I was thinking today about my wife, and I thought if 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 you gave her a if you gave her a, uh, an unlimited amount of money in a year to do whatever she wanted to do, my wife would probably say, "I'm trading in this RV for a private jet." And so I want to ask you, you, I'm talking to you, what would you do if if, if you had a magic wand? And they said, hey, you got a year, you got an unlimited amount of money, you got you can do whatever you want to do, go wherever you want to go. What would you do? Um uh, some of you will probably do the same thing as my wife, book the private jet, go all over the place. Some of you would be like me, and you won't want to stay around your house. Yeah, I would buy me a big green egg. <laughs> I would uh I would I would, you know, get the uh Start making some pizzas outside. I would sit around my house, sit around my deck. I would uh, read a book. I would uh, do a little golf. I would watch a lot of TV. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go. I I love going down to Savannah, Georgia, uh, Hilton Head down there. I would go down there. I would go visit my my brother in law, my sister in law, and my, my other sister in laws. You know, on the East Coast. You know, I have a sister in law living in Philadelphia. I have a sister-in-law who lives in the Bronx. A sister-in-law who lives in uh, New York, Long Island. You know, so I would go visit all of them. My brother and sister-in-law they live in they live in New Jersey. I would go visit all of them. You know, I would even go down to uh, North Carolina, visit and family in North Carolina. I would go visit them. I, I would do that. But traveling like all around the world, no thanks. I will pass on that. Don't tell my wife that. <laughs> I will pass on that. That's just me personally. But I know my wife, if you gave her a bunch of money, she would say, private jet me. And we would be off in Norway. We would be off in Sweden. Not that I wouldn't want to go to them places, but, you know, you gave me a year to do whatever. I know what, I know exactly what I would do. But what would you do? That's the main, that's the main question. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what would you do. And now, ladies and gentlemen, on a different note, on a different subject. <clears throat> Today we are going to talk about we are going to talk about mentality. The mentality you need sometimes to win in business. And before we get started on the mentality that you need in business, we are going to discuss <clears throat> we are going to discuss something that I've been using for the last couple weeks and i i've enjoyed it and so i'm going to tell you about it it's called a product called magic mind magic mind what what magic mind is it's like it's, it comes in a little bottle you know they sent it to me got it in the mail i open it up it's like a little bottle like a little uh espresso kind of shot and then you drink it i i drink it early in the morning because that way it clear it helps the mind, helps you clear the mind, helps you give you it gives you mental clarity. 
and then the rest of your day you're like all right and 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 since i've been taking it for the last couple of weeks i've written more stuff in the last couple of weeks than i did in the last month you know so it, it it has helped me with creativity it has helped me remember things and it has helped me it has helped me in my business um quite a bit you know i'm i i am able to focus more i am able to you know because before i would be writing or something like that and easily easily get distracted easily get distracted and uh since i've been i've been taking this stuff i have not as been i have not been as easily distracted as i was in the past you know the phone would just ring or the phone would barely make a noise i'll be like oh, oh i gotta check it gotta check it sort of like a seal you know like like a, you know you give a seal a fish you know i'll sort of like that but with the magic mind i've been able to think i've been able to uh be be creative i have been able to really focus and really hone in on making this podcast better and so this is why i recommend magic mind to you and if you go to magicmind.com forward slash marketing moves you can get a fit you can get up to 50 percent off your subscription for the next 10 days with the code marketing moves 20 now ladies and gentlemen i highly recommend it i enjoy it and you know what else and you know what else i like about it it tastes good it's not like uh i don't know if you when i was a kid my mom used to give us this cough medicine because my mom she she was a nurse and the cough medicine tasted tasted disgusting but I, when i got the bottle and i saw it was green i was a little i was a little hesitant at first because i said i don't know don't tell me it's got like uh is, this is gonna be because you know whenever you see something green drink you're like eh, i don't know but it tastes great okay it has different ingredients in it uh, i'm gonna give you one because i can't even i can't pronounce I can't pronounce any of these ingredients, but I'm going to give you one. M-A-T-C-H-A. Makta. <laughs> okay. Nature's extended release caffeine. Caffeine from Makta takes longer to release and helps to reduce stress. So there you go. It helps. It helps my, it, it has helped my routine. It has helped me see the bigger picture a lot better. So I recommend Magic Mind. You should check it out. And like I said, if you go to www.magicmind.com forward slash marketing moves, you can get it a subscription for the next 10 days with the code marketing moves 20. Now, let's get into the mental aspect of your business. Now, I'm going to I'm going to share a story with you, ladies and gentlemen. When I was a when I was a when I was a young kid, when I was in high school, me and my friend, me and my friend, John Boy, every day we would walk, every day we would walk upon, uh, I live, I live by the Mississippi River, okay? And so every day, me and John Boy, we would walk on the levee. We had a levee out there. But we had a levee out there in Missouri by the Mississippi River and we we were walking every day. And so I remember we used to talk we used to talk about what we wanted to do. We would talk about hopes and dreams. You know, we would talk about all this stuff that we that we wanted to do, what we're gonna do, how we're gonna do it. You know, and I remember uh John John Boy was always discussing how he was gonna get some girl's phone number, you know, because his mom was my mom was on books. His mom was on girls back then. You know, we was, we was young. We was young gentlemen. And I remember he would ask a girl out. They would say, uh, John boy, I don't think so. And John boy, he would look at me and he go, one monkey don't stop no show. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's an expression, ladies and gentlemen. But what that just means is he, he wasn't going to let anybody, uh, you know, stop his, stop his stop his flow you know 
And uh, I was amazed. I was amazed that John Boy, he he could just barrel on through, you know, and he had the mentality. It did, it did not matter what they said. It did not matter if he got the number. It did not matter if he did not get the number. He would keep going. There was no stopping him. And I, and that was something that I, I, I admired about the man. Me, myself, I was complete opposite when it comes to ask, asking girls girls out. And this, is two day, this is two days in a row we're discussing high school uh High school uh, girls. High, I mean, when I was in high school and trying to date, you know, and this is uh, and back then, if I asked, I would ask a girl out. It would be another six months for asking another one out. You know, I'd be like, oh man, I heard no once. I didn't have the right mental fortitude. You know, I, I didn't have the right mental, you know, mindset. But John Boy, I mind him. He had, he had the. Men- he had the right mentality. And when it comes to business, you need to be more like 16-year-old John Boy and less like 16-year-old me. You know, now it's a different story. But back then, I didn't have the real, the real mental, the real mental game to, you know, down pat, you know. And so there's always gonna be sometimes it's because it's not it's not it's not the product sometimes and it's not the people because sometimes people want to buy from you people like you people want to buy from you and and sometimes you're just not in the mental and sometimes you're just not mentally prepared you're just not mentally ready you know you are mentally small you know you're like it's just like whenever you have to promote Whenever you have to promote a uh, your product, or you have to tell people about your product, or you have to tell people about your business, you know how do how do you come across? You know, are you are you confident? Are you excited about your product? Do you want to talk about your product, or are you like see? There's a you want to be listen. It's not about pride. It's 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 about it's about it's about a mentality. Because we all know that sometimes, as when when we kids, we learn from our parents certain things, and we learn from our environment certain things. <clears throat> and there's there there's come there there comes a time where you have to get past that, and you have to say, "Hey, man, I knew I grew up." And people told me I had to work all my life and all this type of stuff. And I could never own anything and all this kind of stuff. But all that has to, all that at some point has to, has to fade away. And it's just you and it's the mentality that you need to have today, you know, in the year 2024. And that mentality is no matter what happens, good or bad, I am ready. Okay? Because we all know. There's going to be things that are going to happen. Good things, bad things, however you want to call them, whatever you want to call them. They, they can be just things, you know. It doesn't have to be the, the biggest thing in the world. It doesn't have to be the worst thing in the world, you know. There's going to be a lot of times people are going to tell you, you know, no, and that's okay. There's going to be a lot of times that people reject your business, and that's okay. There's going to be a lot of times that people are going to, uh, they're going to sign up for a program. They're going to want their money back. You're going to get annoyed. You're going to get upset. It's just the way it is, you know, and you have to have the right mentality and you need to say, Hey, I'm in this for the long haul. You know, you know, that's a re that's, that's a reason why a lot of, uh, you know, I, you know, that's the reason why a lot of, uh, people that, that get into multi-level marketing, they don't make it because they don't have the right mindset. Yes, is multi-level marketing, is it complicated? Uh, Yes. Is it for everybody? Uh, No. But the thing is, you can't give something, you can't give something a try for a week and then be like, oh, nah, that don't work. That don't work for me, dog. You know, 
it's like if you if you go on a, if you go on a date you know you go on a date and the date is bad are you gonna say oh, i'm never dating again or are you gonna go on another date and get back on their horse of course you're gonna get back on their horse because you gotta have the right mentality you know and sometimes believe it or not if you go on one bad date with a person if you give them another chance the second time might go a whole lot better than the first time it just might be they might be nervous or you, you never know you know the reservations might have been bad the restaurant might have been bad it's just a lot of different variations but the mentality that you have you know is gonna be what propels you into success you know are you mentally prepared are you mentally are you mentally mature enough to handle the situation because man being 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 an entrepreneur you know um uh, being an entrepreneur and trying and being an entrepreneur is not for the weak it's not for the uh the faint of heart you know how about that you know it's it's a it's a thing it's hard but it ain't it ain't woe is me you know it ain't It ain't, it ain't woe is me. It ain't, uh, it ain't, I'll never make it. You know, you get started, you try things, things don't work out. You know, you, you spend money, you spend a thousand dollars. You don't get the, you don't get your, you don't get your money back. It, it, it just happens. You know, there's no guarantees, you know, there's, there's no guarantees in working a job. There's no guarantees in running a business. There's no guarantees in life. But you need to have the right mentality for the whole gusto, okay? And so, what can you do to to get better when it comes to to, to the mental aspect? You know, one thing that I'm going to highly recommend for you is to not look at social media so much because one thing now that a people a lot of people get caught up in is they see people online and they see people they they, they think. Oh man, this person, this person is like success. I can't do that. I can never do that. I want to do that. But a lot of times, are they successful or do they just, are they just perceiving to be successful? You know, it's a big old difference. Okay. You know, there's a lot of people out here who tell you, I can show you how to uh, make money in the stock market. And the only thing they are doing is selling you a course. They don't they don't know how to be successful in the stock market. And then you sign up for their course, and then you're not successful in the stock market. And then you go, and hey, maybe it's just me. Uh-uh. They they ain't successful in the stock market. They are successful in marketing themselves to people. Okay. So don't think, don't think about how people look online you know because a lot of times it's just a mirage do not do not worry about people online do not think about they're doing much more than me they are so far ahead of me listen don't don't worry about anybody don't worry about what anybody's doing you worry about you and you worry about what can i do to get that business going what can i do to get this ship off the off the into the water and running okay what can i do to get the wind behind my back and i float down the the river you know you have to look at it like that what that's the mental aspect you need tune things out focus have have clarity know where you want to go know how you want to go what you want to do there's going to be bumps in the road of course they're going to be bumps in the road but man, enjoy the bumps, enjoy the ride, enjoy the journey, but be mentally prepared, be mentally mature, be ready. You know, come, come, come with the right attitude and you will get so much further than somebody who ha maybe they might have more talent than you, but they have a bad attitude. They're not mentally prepared. You will get a lot further down the road than them all right ladies and gentlemen that is it that is 
the podcast. We will be back tomorrow with all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. Uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, check out Magic Mind, uh, magicmind.com slash marketing moves and marketing, marketing moves 20. And, you know, buy a subscription or buy one bottle, but just check them out. And give them a shot. It's a great product. I enjoy it. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back tomorrow with the all new show, with the all new uh, episode. But until then, God bless. And as always, everybody, peace.